What the heck? <laughs> Randy! My man! That was perfect! All right, check out this tree we got today. This thing has got no drop zone. No drop zone at all. We've got a steep grade here. We've got a house right here. Pretty good size fir. This guy actually had a few tree companies that just kept not calling him back and stuff for this tree. So he got another bid for like 2,500 bucks. The salesman did it. And then like the owner came out and saw the tree and then they just <laughs> wouldn't call the guy back. He couldn't get anybody else to like show up. <laughs> so he had like a few companies that just like nobody wanted to do it. Cause it, it kind of sucks to negative rig these trees down. It's uh, it's dangerous. It's a lot of heavy rigging and it's, uh, it's just hard, hard on the body. You would want to do it every day, but we're going to lower the, the, everything has to come down on a rope. Uh, I mean, it's right over the house. Pretty good size fur. So I'm, I'm charging $5,000 to take this tree down. Haul the wood away, haul the brush away. Let me know if you think that's fair. I think that's fair. This is a hard tree and a hard spot. We've got this tree. I'm trying this jailbreak thing out. This guy wants me to sell these on Sappy. They look pretty slick. It's like a porter wrap alternative, but the rope goes in here and you zigzag it. I think the appeal of this is you don't get all the coils in the rope. So we're gonna try it out, see how it works. We've just got the one anchor point. I think if it, we don't like it so floppy, we might take the ratchet strap and just crank it down some more. Um, but we're trying this jailbreak out. I'll probably sell these at Sappy Supplies. We got uh, some stable raid, got the new Husky. We've got some Arbor Freak, Monkey Beaver Harness, Bucklight Titanium Spurs. Sell most of the stuff on Sappy, except for the chainsaw and the saddle. Um, but, and then we just got a dead eye sling with a timber hitch. I had a, I actually put a whoopee sling on it. I was like, I'll try the whoopee sling out again. And I remember why I don't like them. It's hard to get them really tight. Um, I just like the dead eye sling. Anyway, so that's the tree. No drop zone. I got Randy and Kevin helping today. And Randy brought <clears throat> his machine. So I love my Avant, but you know, my Avant wouldn't fit in here. So this is where Randy's machine is a better alternative because this thing how wide is it randy 36 inches i believe fits through most 36 inch gates. yeah fit through is 36 inch gate set up a bunch of plywood all along the house right here window behind that one so lots of plywood so advantage is he can get it in tighter spots disadvantage he has to turn on the plywood if he just turns he, he makes these big uh, rubber marks on the asphalt and if he's on grass it tears up so the avant is really great for grass it's really great for distance it's really fast but you're not getting it through there so this truck is sweet a little dump truck and i think we got their their stump hey buddy so yeah, that's his, he made these sideboards. That's his truck, that's his trailer. Here's my chipper, here's my dump truck. I really need a cap for this thing. I thought it was gonna be a wood truck, but it's just a chip truck. I really need a, a lid for that. It's always puking chips out everywhere. And then I got the service truck um, here as well. So, cause all my gear is in there. So just take both trucks, it's easier than moving all the gear around. So anyways, that's kind of the equipment setup. This is a 16 inch bore bark. I'm gonna chip as much as I can and then we're gonna haul the rest of the wood in the dump truck. I think it'll all fit. But that's the tree. It's uh it's kinda gnarly. It's kind of a really tight spot. It's really critical that everything comes down on ropes. Thanks for bringing your machine, man. Yeah, man. I, I think it's sweet. I use it. Yeah. Awesome. It comes in handy sometimes. It's a great machine. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Where? Do you think we'll fit all the wood in the back of the dump truck? I mean, you're gonna be able to chip. The Worst thing. case scenario, we can throw it like on the chips in the dump truck. Yeah, okay. I but I think we'll fit it. I think if I chip it up to 16 inches, and then I think we'll fit it. I think we'll fit it. This would be nice wood for me to uh, I'm dump this out. Yeah, Randy's actually gonna take the wood. It's pretty big, it's probably 28 inches. We're leaving a little bit of a stump. He might build like a structure or something with it. So my plan is, once I get this firewood home, I'm gonna sell it, special guilty of treason chopped down firewood. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna sell it for a lot more accord. It's been guilty yeah. this season. <laughs> <laughs> guilty of treason chopped this down, I'm guilty of season. 700 bucks a cord. So this is only a 100 foot rope, kind of short um, for this tree but I'm gonna be single lining, so it's fine. I want a single line, so I have fewer moving ropes. So we're just gonna go with the short rope, because I like the 16 strand Arbor Freak, just with the regular press of deal on it. What uh, 
What knot are we tying here? I don't know what it's called. I only know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. <laughs> I really need to learn some like proper ways to tie No, no, six up is a, or seven up is a standard knot. You just wrap it seven times and you're good. Go buy from our arborist store. I don't know the proper way to tie a brisket. <laughs> oh, can we get like a bucket? Does this either pop out of the ground or can we put a bucket on it? This little solar thing. So if this are one or two limbs, I would just lower as I went. But because it's every limb, I'm going to set up a pulley for a block up there. I think I can on the way up. It's a nice smooth trunk, less stuff to grab. And I'm going to take the time to go set up the rigging. That way I can just be nice, tight and comfortable. And we'll have consistent friction rather than going off branches and ropes. It's just going to make everything a lot smoother. Because we've got a lot of rigging to do in this thing. But I'll just call this bluff. Yep. <laughs> the new battery saw, the 542. Honestly, it might be my favorite time. This is so sick. So this is where the Gibbs climber is really nice. It's hard to get used to, the cam is hard to use, but look how easy I can get around these branches. So I'm gonna click it, now I adjust it. Now I'm over that limb, I never unclipped. You know, so this is one of my favorite pieces of gear. I, it's been around ever since I started. Um, Say 43 years ago? Yeah, 40. Yeah, yeah 40. That's what Isaac thinks. <laughs> kind of this little fluff might seem unnecessary, but man, it just makes your life easier. Cutting out everything you can on the way up. <laughs> Absolute perfection. <laughs> Ow! Should have shot your line up there, Jake. Been walking right up there. It's a pretty clear shot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I like guess it's going fine. I'm cutting off all the stuff. Am I too slow for you, kid? Oh, the wind's taking over that. Pretty good. Nice. The wind always helps when you're negative rigging, you know? <laughs> I know a lot of guys would double tie in for all these cuts, but I'm not saying you shouldn't by any means. You, you should, but I do feel pretty safe with this steel cord flip line. Like people say you can't that you can cut through it just as easy as rope, and I don't believe that to be the case. Like I said, I'm not recommending you don't double tie in there. Sometimes with these little ones, it's like so much faster. What's that? You gonna convert? I have a 28 inch bar, lightweight. Oh, nice. So it's a little more evenly balanced, I feel like. <laughs> Do I square file mine? Yeah. No, no, I, uh, I mean, I have a Symington grinder. Oh, you do? But I, I have like a, I have a few chainsaws, so I have a saw that I like basically will take out in the woods that's square file oh. or square ground, and then basically I have all my other saws around file just because you can do it on the job. Yeah. Like I, don't, I don't ever have my round, you know, my grinder with me. I do the same thing, like I'll bring round files with me. I mean, you can always round file. You lose a lot of puke when you do it. Yeah, but I mean, it's last case scenario. It's like you drove six hours away. And I might as well have a round file. That's easier than carrying extra chains with you everywhere. Oh, you're cruising up that. I mean, I feel like you could just tie in there and we could lower a top. <laughs> oh, that, that, that Hillary Duff is just flying. Dude, yeah, it's windy, man.
<laughs> yeah, like a lot of <laughs> nice. Nope. It's crazy. Oh, I leaned on this branch and it snapped. That's fur for you. That was crazy. You think if I uh, lower a top, it'll clear? I might, might break a few branches on the way down is what I'm thinking. Is my rope still on the ground? Uh, I can't see. I think you're... Yeah, it's still on the ground. you got like two feet on the ground. All right, will you clip on the rigging line and the block? Oh, come on. I'm going to drop my line on the other side. All right, we have it on, but we're waiting for a steel carabiner. Oh, a lot of the guys, they just like to tie knots, but the, the knot tying over and over again on these furs is really, really annoying. That it makes sense on like a deciduous tree because the rope's stronger without a carabiner. Um, one less thing that could possibly fail, but you know, so if I'm doing a deciduous tree, usually like the East Coast guys, I'll just tie knots over and over again. But if I'm doing a conifer tree, I use a carabiner. It's crazy tying a knot, a knot, you know, a thousand times. It's just, for, to me, feels really annoying. So I use a carabiner. Plus these limbs don't weigh that much. This is Kevin's little CMI block. I think I saw these this happen too. We got a cow head. The dead ice limbs are so much better than all these other fancy things. So I'm gonna actually pop this top out of here now because I am moving around like a rag doll up here. It is so windy. Look how scary this is. I'm frightened right now. So if I get the uh, top out of here, this tree, I heard one time something crazy like if you reduce the height of a branch or a tree by 10%, you're reducing the movement, like the movement by half. I mean, I'm trying to be calm right now because I've got work to do. I want to get the top out, but I am frightened. No, I'm so sick of this top, dude. It's just always. So if I run up there, you think you can uh... rig it up quick? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope so. I mean, I think I have it down, but I also can just put it on my my ditch witch if you want. Whatever you think is best. It's about 20 feet, five inches. It's not very big. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just run the jailbreak. I think I got it. I saw the 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 thing. If the top breaks out, I'm not in it. But at the same time, eventually I'll be at the top, and it might be even windier than now. You know, it, it is a bad. This tree's in a bad situation. Dude. All right, I am, I'm ready as I'll ever be with this thing. All right, ready? What the heck? Randy, my man, that was perfect. That was amazing. I've, uh, yeah, I know this device pretty well. Helped design it. <laughs> Dude, I feel good. I feel good. The rest of this tree, this tree is not falling over. That took a lot of drag out of this thing. Luckily, I had that one channel right there. That was awesome, dude. I, I had like I had like two minutes where it was it's like windy again. Wasn't gonna be happening. All right, let's see how this first bigger load goes. Isaac. Saw grips. Oh, this is getting hard to open and close my hands. Hold on, Isaac, I got you. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Down. Down. 
down, down, hold it, down, down, down all the way. Line's clear. This one's got a little hanger in it, Isaac. It might fling out, but it won't kill you. Gail, watch out. It's really with the Vaunt, because I was like, do I want a small one to get it in tight spaces or do I want a big one so we can lift a lot? And I got the medium one, which is what I could afford. But it's really the bigger the better with the Vaunt, I think. Yeah, I, I would think that I'd want one of the bigger ones and then like have the smallest track machine possible. I feel like it's opposite with track machines. Like the whole appeal is how small they are. Yeah, you want it to get into anywhere. Half it just looks so sketchy, like, but I've never had one come undone. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people will like these zip lines you have to pull up, but I don't know. I just never had one. Alright, I got two on. Look at the wind taking it over there. That's crazy. All right, got two on them. It's hard to open and close my hands. How many is there? Two, four? I'm just trying to do two. Grab two. It's pretty even in the space. I'm going to go for it all.
are you doing up there, Jake? Great, dude. I'm in life, man. You're uh, you're living La Vida Loca, <laughs> living the crazy life. I'm just stoked that this is like a job of mine, and it's this efficient. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's a really cool feeling. Like there's my truck, there's my chipper. Here are my boys. It's going fast. It's going efficient. Yeah, it feels feels like it's right. Feels right. I think I'm gonna stage for a minute. Keep that thing off. All right, I got two on. Okay, ready. Dude, I'm just blasting through these limbs with this battery saw, man. How are you liking that jailbreak, Isaac? Uh, it's all right. It's not bad. Uh, what? One second. And down. Down all the way in here. Oh, like. You get these little coils though still. And then it like binds up really bad in the... It kind of seems to be hockling a little bit. Yeah. I had my fingers slide into the pigtail. That kind of hurt. Into that pigtail? Like when you're running it? Yeah, I was running it. I kind of was trying to bring it to the, bring it to it a little bit and it... And it caught your nub? Yeah. Do you remember what the battery was at on that drone when you landed, Kevin? I think it was only like down like one or one bar. What's cool now though, it's like every every branch I cut, the tree moves less. Whereas if the top were in it, every branch I cut, the top would move more. All right, I got two on. Okay, you're good. So crazy. I'm like shocked how much this thing is still moving. I mean, it's bad. The wind is really bad. There'd be zero chance of me being up here if there was a top in this thing. And of course, once we get down to a bare trunk, this thing will not move in the wind at all. Or not much, I should say. Okay, ready? That is so wild, man. It's like eight feet away from, like 10 feet away from my tree right now. Wow. Just, just hold these ones, Isaac. 
they're gonna be really light. If it weren't windy, I would just chuck these ones. They're tiny. Ready? Right. Ready, Isaac? Isaac, these ones are tiny. I'm just zip lining them down. Just go stand in the yard. And they're seriously tiny. All right, we're brushed out, boys. Yeah. Let me do one log with the little stuff, and then I'll come down and get cleaned up, have lunch, then do the big stuff. Then send Isaac back up. <laughs> I mean, I feel that 100% if you're wondering. Okay. You'll be out in a minute. It's a little after 11 right now. So, these dead eye slings are nice for this situation because you can. Yeah, the ultra sling, you gotta like take the whole thing completely out, but these you can just kind of loosen up the cow hitch. Slide it down. underneath here this can have a lot of weight on your rope you might not be able to get down if you need to so I put my flip line underneath the block and I put my climb line above the block so that I can always repel down with my climbing line if the climb line does fall off I'm tied in with the flip line if the flip line gets pinched I can take the flip line off I got my climbing line here so that's how I do these can I get Randy to run this one I'm gonna do my notch No, you're good. I, uh, I'm, I didn't even look. I didn't want to look up. Uh, when you said rain, I was not going to look up. I was like, taking that to the face, I'd rather take it to the body. That was gnarly, huh? That was scary. It was like this. Dude, oh, my hands are like glued together. They're like glued together, man. But then. running point here so I can be tied farther away from the cut so it doesn't have a risk of slipping off the butt. So I get the advantage of tying it really close to eliminate as much because there's a lot of negative forces happening here. The further away you put this, the more violent it's going to slam when it goes over. So the half hitch kind of gets it close because it's holding it here, but it's really tied in there. And I take the carabiner off because I'm not doing very many cuts. Let's just tie the knot, one less thing to worry about. I'm ready, Randy. It's about seven, eight feet long. You think it's about the same as that top? It's gonna be a little heavier than the top. A little heavier than the top, huh? So I'm gonna run it over two pieces of friction. I'm thinking that's gonna be the, the ticket. I'm like, I'm 90% sure, Jake. <laughs> Here we go. I'll push it over here. Push on the trunk slide. You, you all right? Yeah.
want to get this young man carrying that budget. Oh! Wow, that is not me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can hook this on you and I will pull you up there so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have any more big dead ice slings. We might need to use the ultra sling. So if we have to, that's fine. But I want to see some jumping running up that thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Some, you flip and go double. Oh, no, double jump awesome. like Mario. Yeah. yeah. Ba -boing, ba -boing. Uh, I don't want to deal with this, like tending the slack a bunch. So I'll just pull this up when I get to the top. Easier that way. Uh, you know what I'd really like, but tell me if this would be a big pain. Is there an ultra sling on that right now? Yeah. Could we put the ultra sling on the jailbreak? Yep, and you want the dead eye? Yeah, then I'm not, I don't have to take the whole thing apart over and over again. Yeah, give us a sec, we'll, uh, we're about to make that happen. How does that look for, looks awesome. Whoa. You all right? Drone is like right next to me. You lose your GoPro? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah, it's rolling. <laughs> Jake, you want uh, you want me to send it back up with rigging? Yeah. Okay. Husky chainsaw, ported by Redbeard, or what is it, Redbeards? 562, 20 inch bar, not quite like mine, but it's it's kind of, they're different, but the same. Where's the Redbeard guy from? Minnesota, oh, okay. Minnesota, okay. All right, doing my notch. <laughs> Thank you. You take that carabiner out, would you? Just keep it down there. Do I have a second to run that out there? Or? Absolutely. Get that at Snappy Supplies? No, this is good solid rope for this this application. Yeah, I rarely use this one, but sure glad I have it when I need it. We're rigged up. Alright, I'm gonna do 
The same thing as last time. And you hope for the best. I'm ready online. <laughs> that again the same maybe a foot or two longer a little thicker oh maybe maybe i won't go with that same thing again might want a little more on this one all right i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna do just a little more Ready? my breath for some reason that half hitch almost came off <laughs> yeah it did <laughs> that's pretty gnarly uh hey jake yeah do you want us to keep using that jailbreak the whole time? It's up to you guys, you know. I mean, I'd... Do you like it? What's that? Do you like this? I'd, I'd, I've, I mean, it's cool. More or less than a Porter Wrap or a Stein? I like it, I like a Porter Wrap better just because I know it better. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it was, it was fun jailbreak. Sounded like a good Saturday night, but... <laughs> <laughs> Gordy, you'll have to wait. <laughs> I have to call you back. Oh, I would talk to Gordy yesterday. He said Jake's been avoiding my calls like the plague. <laughs> All right, I'm tied on. All right, we are rigged up and, and uh, you're tied on? About the same length as the last one. They've all kind of been the same length, but this one's a little chunkier. All right, I am ready on the line of rope. <laughs> I can't wait to start making Isaac do this. <laughs> I can't wait for you to make him do it either. <laughs> okay. Cutting my notch. Oh, Claire.
You ever, uh, so I've done some pretty big lowering before. Sometimes you have to put ice in the porter wraps so they don't, have you ever had anything melt onto the porter wrap? Uh, I feel like I've seen it, but I can't really think. Like It'll melt onto this, uh, melt onto your lowering device. It's crazy. It's just like so heavy. It's like, and just the rope will melt. And it just, you can like let go, it's stuck. That's a crazy, you have to like get a press stick and like hold it, undo it, undo all the wraps. But you have to shove ice, like packs of ice in there. And then it'll keep it from overheating. All right, you're online. All right? Better than ever. Want me to hold that while you do it? I get okay. Wow, he is strong. I'm trying, hold on, so, sorry. <laughs> that was horrible. Put the machine away, Randy. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. You heard him. This is my thing. Just untie it. Just <laughs> yeah, nice and time. Jeez, he's NASCAR fast. <laughs> On top of the stub. <laughs> That'd be pretty sick. Ultimate testament to your skill. Calm down with the crazy moves, Maverick. Is that your? Your resume for the job. All right, watch me fly this and put it on top of here. Yeah, he's applying for climbing companies. He's like, and I can fly a drone. They're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a big deal. Cutting my notch. All clear. Kevin, I can see that you want to land it on there, don't you? Don't you? You're like, <laughs> he's like right above it, like, ah. So the question is, what will that accomplish? I, I heard you talking earlier about something about, so how do you hook up yourself? Like, I put the flip line below the block. And the lifeline above? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect job, Randy. Thank you. You got it? You want me to hold that? I got your... Oh, that is a hot little porter wrap. It's been a long time since I've done some negative rigging. Yeah. Every time I do it, it reminds me how much I hate doing it, though. Yeah. Your knees, you know. I mean, granted, it's not like the biggest tree, but when you do it on like something oh. stupid. Oh. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna build them up and break them down. Yeah. Awesome job, but it's not like the biggest tree you've <laughs> we've ever done it on. No, yeah, it's not like a tree where you brush it out one day and then chunk it another day, you know? It's like a full, like, four-man crew busting each other's balls every, all day. <laughs> all right, ready online. All right. Do you want me to toss it? Yeah. 
Oh, that was, all, that was such a pathetic toss. I'm such a loser. Oh, <laughs> 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 the LB, the LB behind the back. That's what I'm doing. I'll make you feel better. <laughs> yeah, no, thank make you. Feel better. Yeah. See, like, Here we go. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Off the tree. Classic, classic tree assist. <laughs> I just said it was a little too heavy for my machine to take out. I hate to say that, that's embarrassing. Because your machine would take pick this up tenfold. No, it wouldn't, because I couldn't get back here. Yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, no, no, it wouldn't. Your machine's stupid. No, I shouldn't say that about Avant. Please don't, don't, don't not, not give me one, Avant. <laughs> Dude, no, they're not going to give you one. Avant's going to be watching. That Randy guy, he likes to ditch watch. Screw him. We're just getting ready to ship him out in 860. Could change my life. I'd probably end up going to work in that thing, just using it as a car. <laughs> yeah. It was like 26 miles an hour or something crazy like that. 26 miles an hour? That's about as, that's about as fast as I can run for three hours. Cut my nuts. I should be able to pick it up from there. How far down do you want to go? No. Probably right about at his chest or one. No. Right where his chest is? So like one piece of firewood? Why do you say it like that? One piece of firewood? <laughs> no, no, no. You're hurting his feelings. Somewhere, somewhere between as tall as you are. Okay. At your chest. So, yeah. Doesn't matter, somewhere in there. Sorry, Randy, you just, you're not gonna get all that firewood you thought you were gonna get. Randy's trying to make it through the winter here. Oh, this is my wood for the season. <laughs> You're not gonna drop that block on me, are you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> This is a good height. Will you knock on the door and ask him? One, two, three. Got some chunk. 
Last Chunk. <sighs> Last Chunk. It's a movie I'm working on. Man, you ever like stand on your spurs so much and then you don't realize that your foot's in pain and then you stand on the real ground and it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> like that's the stuff. If you've never climbed on climbing spurs, oh man, it, when you're walking, it's not so bad, but when you're just standing, and that's kind of why I hate negative rigging so much because you're just standing straight on your spurs for so long, you're not really moving around. It gets kind of hard on the feet, and I've got like the world's best spurs and the world's best boots for spurs, and it's still not great after a while. Um, but it's just crazy the difference. Like when you're climbing up and down a lot, and you're taking lots of steps, you really don't feel the spurs, but when you're just standing in one spot, you feel them after a while. Get the roof first and then jump. Yeah. You get all of it. Oh, sorry, I said come. Uh, yeah, you're good at balancing. All right, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up a little bit. You cool with that? Yeah. Like super fast. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Dude, he's down. like a cat, dude. All right, you want me to? You want me to? Go around the yard. Buddies at sappysupplies.com. I kind of, kind of hard to ship, but uh, I don't use it all day every day, but the few times a day I use it, I'm really glad I had it. in there or having a rake in there. It's all wood so you can go through the chipper and eat it. Left a stub 10 feet high or so. And we dug the plants out and then Isaac planted them back again. Everything's cleaned up. We didn't break even a twig off anything. So I'm really happy with this. All the irrigation lines are fine. Not a twig broke off anything. Blew off the roof, roof is clean. Blew off the patio, raked out the track marks here. 
Gravel's cleaned out. Truck is full of chips. Randy's truck is full of wood. He'll burn this this winter. Ditch witch is loaded up. This machine really saved the day. This thing was so sick today. Chipper did get, oh, I need to, I need to tarp down the load. Got some nice, some nice chips back here. So, smells really good. Yeah, nice chips. Nice Very little duff. Nice, nice job, everything you did. Nice job, Roper. Nice job with the machine, dude. It worked out per, like, couldn't have been any more wood. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't that was, that was perfect. It worked out excellent. That's gonna be enough to, you just, nice job, Stump. Got me heat for the next winter. That's awesome, man. That'll be, uh, I mean, that'll... Nice job, buddy. Hey, nice job, Stump. No, yeah, great job, dude. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. You did a great job. Good job, Clyde. Good job with the rigging. Come here. No. Nice job, guys. Hey, yeah, nice job. Hey, nice job, job on the drone. On, first man. time, first time flying the drone, yeah, Kevin. Yeah, we'll see you in the video. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like facing the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on. It's like facing the sky. <laughs> nice job today, Isaac. Getting that plywood put back up. All right, well, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out sappysupplies.com for all your dreams to come true. Uh, that was a fun job. That was, you know, really, those, those trees are really tricky when they grow out of the ground like that. So I'm pretty happy with how it went. Customers are happy. Boys are happy. Everything went well. So that was just a good old day of tree work. That, uh, that wind was kind of gnarly, but overall everything went good. So thanks for watching. I like sharing these tree jobs with you and uh see you on the next one